At IBM, I was a master inventor and had over 40 patents. Here at Clarkson University, our students invent. They use the same methods that work well for me at IBM. Last year, 37 of my undergraduate students filed 15 patent applications at the United States Patent Office. Let's hear from the students on two of these teams. Uh, well, I was interested in inventing because I've looked, my brother actually created something. He built a turtle basking platform, and I thought the process was really cool, how he took an idea, and then developed it into something, and then actually filed a patent for it. So I saw this class, and I realized, oh, I want to do this. So I took the class, came up with a product, and now we have a really cool idea. When you're, when you're out in the field, whether it be hunting or target shooting, there's a, a need to place your bow somewhere. The, our invention was to create something that was portable and allowed you to place your bow off the ground. And one thing we wanted to focus on was portability. We wanted to make sure we could assemble it and assemble it. Our invention comes down into a bunch of small pieces that can easily fit in a bag. Um, that bag can easily be tossed over your shoulder in the backpack. So it's very easy to move. Um, it's very easy to set up. We use push pins to assemble it, and we just focused on ease of use and portability. Uh, so my background is I grew up on Lake Winnipesaukee. I lived there every summer with my grandparents since I was 14. Uh, I took a job at a local marina that a family friend owned, and I've been a mechanic or a technician or yard help uh, at that marina for all, basically all my life. The biggest thing I realized about boats was that in order to protect them, you have to have these really big cumbersome fenders and hang them outside the side of the boat using it but the cleats are also used for tying the boat off to the dock and keeping it sturdy. So I figured, why wouldn't I just take the fender and automate a system where you don't have to store it and you don't have to hang it up yourself, it should come out automatically. The first prototype was only on CAD, and so we never actually physically made it, and it was a, actually a completely different way of getting the fender out of the side of the boat. Um, so that was our first prototype. I would say our second prototype and our third and our fourth were just different methods of rolling up the fender. And then we finally decided on a final one where the fender would roll out with a rolling rod. And that took until probably about a month ago to figure out. So we went through, I would say, three or four prototypes. Some of them only CAD drawings, some of them 3D printed but not put into full use. And now we have one that is in full use and I would say it's probably our best prototype we have so far. Uh, growing up, I've, I've really always thought about inventing as a very cool aspect of uh, engineering, business, uh, bringing all those kind of aspects together into one invention where you have to really study what kind of business models there have to be, um, get your design down to a, like basically to a T in order to bring it to other customers. Um, and all those different aspects are very interesting to me and really being able to bring those about is what I want to do. Um, John Milne's class taught me so much about invention and then also protecting those inventions that you do come up with so no one else can kind of steal them from you and I learned so much in that class about the whole process of prior art and finding the criteria and all the different things you want to incorporate into your design and invention. After graduation I will be a production engineer at Tiger Boats down in Texas.